Hello everyone, our football travels have brought us today to the region known as Franken in the northern part of Bavaria. We are at the Max Morlock Stadion. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And coming up for you, action from the Zweite Bundesliga. It's Nuremberg and they face Eintracht Braunschweig. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And a look at the starting 11 for Nuremberg. Well, they're set up in a defensive 4-4-2. But if they can counter-attack quickly, get the front players to hold up the play and get the wide players higher up the field, they do have the ability to cause problems here. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. Well, in this shape, unless their wing-backs play further forward, there won't be any width in their attacks, which then puts a lot of pressure on the strikers to provide the goal threat. And the contest begins. Christophe Daferna. And it's a quality pass. Timely intervention. Really vital interception here. Well, the home side know full well they've got to do an awful lot better in an attacking sense. Stuart, just look at their record. Yeah, they're struggling to create chances, let alone score goals. And I think it's a combination of many things. No cutting edge in midfield, a lack of movement from the front players and nobody taking the game by the scruff of the neck. Hopefully it's a different story today. It's a weighted pass. Well, it looked like a decent avenue of attack, but he couldn't keep himself onside. Well, he's just a bit too eager there. All well and good playing on the shoulder, but he just needs to bend his run to stay onside. He's enjoying space. Setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Well, they so nearly took the lead there. They just have to keep creating these opportunities, and I'm sure the goal will come. Well, a game of such fine margins, but let's see if they can create another opportunity. Guys. Templeman. And he keeps going. Firing it in. High echelon goalkeeping there. Who can they pick out? Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Well, the crowd can sense the goal's coming. Could this be the moment? <laughs> Stuart. 
short corner favourite. An alert piece of defending. A chance to nudge in front. Corner kick here. Let's see about the delivery. Not the best clearance. Keeper did his job to begin with. Well, I think they've played really well today, but unless they take one of these chances, it will count for nothing. Just look at those stats. They need to make the breakthrough and make it quickly. Making progress. Well, possibilities inside the box. And a chance for them to nudge in front. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. Who's going to get on the end of it? Oh, a very fine header, but it wouldn't go in for him. Another corner. Elects to go short. Well read to win possession back. Marks. What can they do from here? Must be! Oh, disappointing! Just when it looked like a surefire opener. Well, that should have been the opener, Derek. I'm not sure how he's missed that. So that will be all. The first 45 minutes have come and gone. A keenly contested first half. What did you make of the home side, Stuart? Well, we discussed their lack of goals at the start of the game and nothing has changed my opinion during that first half. They just lack invention in their forward play. The only saving grace at the moment is their defending, which has been really good. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Well, at first glance, you would think a strong possibility of a red card. Let's see. And with that, he's been dismissed. Well, they're going to be under pressure now. That's a needless sending off. Substitution then, let's see how it affects the match. The keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. Henning. This looks promising. He has time to play it over. Can he finish? And the keeper's hand does the trick. The 
looking for that final pass looking for the goal that would put them ahead well he made that interception look routine in truth it wasn't Well, it's a good finish, as you can see. Look at the bend he puts on the ball. The keeper just can't get across to it. That's an excellent goal. One nil then. Well, we're into the final half hour. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle, and the referee has got to book him, I think. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. flag has gone off it was really close and they will make the change now Lino Temperman Hübner, Templeman on the offensive and winning it back. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Well, it fizzled out. Lino Templeman. Daferna. Well, potential danger not a great pass <laughs> making progress they've given it away oh what's he gone and done gives it a go well, simple for the keeper Endo. How can they turn one of these attacks into a goal? And they deal with the threat this time. Well, is it going to end up being productive for them? A well, fine reading of the situation. Fabian Nuremberger. Five minutes left. And high marks for that pass. And that'll be offside. Here it is now, a substitution. Space afforded him. Crossing possibilities. And we are going to have two additional minutes. It is to be a throw in. Anton Donkor. Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. Here 
Emmanuel Perai. Just unable to get his cross beyond the first defender. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end.